What's up, guys? Welcome back to the RMP. This is the Rebel Journal. I think this is number three. I'm going to lose count really quick, probably. Um, but uh, I keep reemphasizing this point, and I hope it's not getting old. I, ho I hope it's just getting more clear about the things that actually stand in our way. I, I know that I kind of come off abrasive, um, but I'm never going to lie to you. I may be optimistic. I will try to avoid being pessimistic. But I'm never going to lie to you from what I see. I'm not going to try to put a cherry on top. I'm, trying, I'm going to try to be as honest as I can with my opinion, my perspective, and what I see. And all I'm trying to do is to provoke your own thinking. Um, it doesn't matter the way that you think about it as long as you're moving towards change. As long as you're going to do something about the things that stand in your way, the evils that stand in your way, the manipulation that stands in your way, and take control of your own life. Become the individual be uh, a skeptic, be a critic, and fucking do some shit with your life and make sure you live it fully because my own fear, my greatest fear is to die with regret. Regret of not knowing that I didn't push myself, that I didn't try, that because I was too scared to be embarrassed, too scared to fail, too scared to even be successful. And that's all I want for you. So take everything I say with a grain of salt but I hope to God it opens your mind and I hope it moves you forward. And if it's not, let me know. Let me know. This is episode 81, Rebel Journal. Why is it that we struggle to find ourselves? The question that I have for today is something that's been bothering me on and off, I think, really, for past few years um and that is why is it so hard to find out who we truly are and i guess when i can sit back and think about it there's complex huge amount of things that can stop us really from being who we want to be you know based back through what happened as kids and we were what we were conditioned to be like what we were told to be what we were shamed out of being and at the same time there's these consistent stimuluses that stimuli stimuli <laughs> that um that stand in our way and to me the only way that i think that we can possibly get through these things is taking care of our individuality, taking care of, of what it is that we actually want, like thinking about what we actually want in in our life. Um, and the reason I think that itself is so difficult is because there seems to be this confusion about what we think we want and what we actually want. And... What I mean is that we're convinced by everything external. Like, because of that external stimulus, we're convinced by what we want. And, you know, we're shown things, especially in social media, with the internet. You know, the internet has changed things so much. And there's so many things that tell us what we should be. And then there's so many other things that tell us what we could be. You know, things that... Um, that we wrap our brains around that we think are amazing or epic and it overloads the brain in my opinion like it's it's giving us too much and we try to be too many things all at once i know that i try to be too many things all at once at least and the other part of it is there's industries that are and i'm trying not to be pessimistic here but it's it's going to come around repeatedly in the way that i talk and the things that i discuss is there's industries that are trying to keep you convinced by what they want you to live, the, the way that they want you to live, rather than what you truly want to live. Because when you fall into emotion and you start to break and you start to wonder what the fuck all this is about, you you start to say fuck the world and you start to resent a lot of things. And the silver lining there is that we get a response from our soul I think, that tells us what it is that we're actually after. 
You know, I know when I'm stressed and when I'm upset with how things are, are going, you know, and the things that I'm not gaining and knowing that it's my responsibility for everything that I'm after, I find that in that, other things bubble up, you know? My desire for riding motorcycles and being on the extreme, my desire for stepping away from society and giving myself time to be alone and time to explore, and my desire to help others see through the mist and the industries that I I think that I'm talking about are the ones that control the way that we eat the ones that control the way that we think the ones control the way that we work you know if if they can constantly feed us stimulate stimulation that is um, numbing you know that is giving us dopamine dumps and taking away our ability to to think and control our thinking in the moment, you know, with all of social media, with all of the movies, with all of the shows, with um, all of the games, you know, I don't think none of any of this is necessarily bad. I think it gives us the ability to step away from the exhaustion of real life. But when it becomes our life, then we are being controlled. And when it comes down to our food, we are being controlled. I stepped into the store this morning um, just to get coffee. And I stood back and I thought, this is almost all sugar. It's almost all sugar and fat and and salt. And do that. Next time you step into a store, pause and think about how much of those three ingredients or those three basic foundational ingredients are inside most of that food. Where are the minerals? Where are the vitamins? Where are the... Um, not the macros, but the micronutrients, you know, uh, we are being controlled with our food because our food feeds our brain and our brain can't work without all of the vitamins and minerals that we actually need. And so I think a lot of us walk around in a stupor, you know, and that's why it's so important to take control. And that's why I think, I think it's so important to separate ourselves from what we think that we need to be and what, and, you know, create a goal of what we actually want to be. You know, there's there's so many things in this world, and I think, I truly think that everybody is gifted, that we're, between our our genetics and the way that our brain naturally works compared to other people's, and then, you know, the way that we're conditioned and the way that we're fed stimulus, there's a unique set of gifts, not just one, but multiple gifts that we are capable of, physically, mentally, spiritually, uh, emotionally, you know, the way that we hack into the world. And I think that's what we're missing. And this is where I truly think that we don't know who we truly are. And this is where I think we struggle with figuring out who we truly are and who we're supposed to be, is that we haven't been given the opportunity, especially from an early age, to think for ourselves. We're way overstimulated. And we're so worried about the rush of the world and keeping up, whether it be paying our bills or whether it be, you know, doing the the fun things that we like to do, that we're never given the opportunity to think about and think about what it is that we would love to do, you know, the way that we would like to spend our lives. There's really no point, in my opinion, to do something you hate every day, whether it be eight hours, 10 hours, 12 hours, 50, 60 hours a week, 100 hours a week, doing something you absolutely hate just for the sake of the few hours that you get beyond that to do something that is a hobby, that is something that you love. I think that it be it should be switched around almost. You know, do what you love. Figure out a way to, to create that value. Stop thinking that your, you know, that your desires and your passions and the things that you think are important in the world that you really value um, are impossible just because the world has told you something different. And um, this is just where my mind drifted today. I hope this really does something for you, but this is really why I think it's so hard to find out who we truly are is because we don't know how to present ourselves to the world in our most authentic form. We take on the things that um, feel a little good to us, and we perform those things, but we never really dig deep. 
So I think it really comes down to our individual power, our emotional control, um, our ability to sit with ourselves, and the, the ability to step away from all of the possible evil things that stand outside of us and the external stimulation, whether you think it's evil or whether you think it's just a tool. Um, and really seeking it is, whatever it is that our heart would love to do every day. Absolutely love to do every day. Because to me, it's not impossible and it's not fake. It's real. It's very, very real. And it should be your life's goal to find that. To find out who you truly are and live that deeply, passionately, to your core. And I think that... <laughs> I think uh, that ties into being rebel-minded. I think that ties into questioning everything that you are, everything that you want to be, making sure that you're pleasing yourself, satisfying yourself, fulfilling yourself, and fulfilling your life to the very end. Don't die, re- don't die with regret. I love you, my friends. I hope this has been a good journal today. I'll talk to you soon.